Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Why are we keeping All right. ports in the larder? Is it going to purify anything? There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Pretty sure the roast's still there. Look at him now. Snuck into my larder once again and makes off like a free thief, he does. Oh, mistress, there are rats in the larder. Big ones. Oh, looks like the dog killed them. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. I mean, yeah, but just so he would have a safe place oh, to kill Don't even start them. with the sad eyes. I'm immune to that your so-called charms. to annoy his favorite person that gives them food. Here it's then. Not me. Take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. And the kitty that I cannot pet. This is very sad for me. I wish I had more things to talk about, but I really don't because I'm bad at making conversation. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. I like history. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans? I mean, I don't like the very war family history, in whose castle like you live. Show general. some respect. <sighs> if the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Um. Sure. Wonderful. The Coastland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Um. We predate well, the. I'm glad Valley. some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. Hey. It seems you've already plumbed the depths of your potential, then. A pity. At any rate. Your family has held the tourneur of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. We opposed the king? The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanad's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalan had won. And he led. Kalan had wished it. to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalan had asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. When was our the lines are founded? Vague. But the Kuslans became Tyrns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Yes. Good. I'm pleased some during of the, my like, lessons seemed to have stuck. Honestly. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their Tyrn. And what's our relationship with The history with between the Kuslans and the House reaches back to the Orlesian occupation.
during your grandfather's rule. Of course, Orlais found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near Hyever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly ninety, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Howe sided with Orlais. Your family was forced to seize Harpers Ford before it was all over. Uh. Correct. That caused a rift between the two families, as you might imagine. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Right. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. True. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Damn it, that's myself all this one. Do you talk this one? Going. The history of Ferelden, chapter one. Fantastic. Good evening, my lord. Just what I want. The history of Ferelden. <laughs> Gotta go up here. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Yes, yes. Well, at least one of us will have had a decent dinner. Perhaps your hound left something I can feed my guests. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Uh... <laughs> yes. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right Probably. in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dairon. He's riding with your father tomorrow. It's good to see you again, my lord. I'm pretty sure she's, uh... Drunk now. And this is my lady in waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. Mother. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. For a few travel? days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Good. I was worried you might be nervous about running the castle alone. I needn't have been concerned. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight the maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. 
Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. <sighs> if he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? It's in the Maker's hands now, and we must cope as best we can. All right. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Still not a fan of our character's face. Nor I. And I do realize you didn't answer my question. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. All right. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? Yes, mother. Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. going to be a war, Papa. Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, Ooh. I promise. Bro, I'll bracelet. be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. That's sad. I Don't like frighten it. the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. <laughs> when there's a woman in your life, you'll understand. Okay, but what if he's gay? No, we're going with Morgan. He's he's bi. He's bi. Bold words, little brother. I mean a real woman, not a turn in the straw. Fergus, language! <laughs> you like to play in the stable too, <laughs> Uncle? I like to hide in the hay. Don't you listen to this. If I catch you with your clothes full of straw again, I'll send you to Mother Malol. But Mama, she talks forever. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Yes. Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Good for him. I hope he makes it. If I were a Grey Warden, though, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Then the Arl's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, no, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? 
I agree. Especially if you get yourself hurt. I will never forgive you. Now that is a good incentive, wouldn't you say? <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my cherished son. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a fine lad. That much is clear. Getting sent to bed early, are we? Hmm, <laughs> a warm bed doesn't sound so bad now, come to think of it. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. We will try. just kind of zoning out, playing the game, not paying attention to the fact that I should probably be My talking. My lord, help me! The castle is under attack! I'm gonna rip you a new one! Uh, did I say that, or did they say that? No, I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Her scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? <laughs> 